This week marked the last reigning week of the 29th commander of the 366th Fighter Wing. Colonel David Iverson served as wing commander for the past two years. He is known for his many flying hours as an F-15 Strike Eagle pilot and maintaining wing readiness by approving numerous upgrades, including a $44 million runway reconstruction. A runway he used on Wednesday as he flew for the last time here at Mountain Home Air Force Base. And upon landing, he received a very energetic greeting from his family. <laughs> Colonel Iverson, his wife Jenny, and their children head to Washington, D.C. as he takes on his new role as the military assistant to the Undersecretary of the Air Force. Taking his place as the new wing commander is former vice wing commander Colonel Jeff O'Donnell, whose leadership style is similar to Colonel Iverson's, according to Chief Master Sergeant David Brown. Well, both of them are fierce leaders. They're both fighters. Both are very much appro approachable, uh, but at the same time, both are, are very humble in what they do. No one has seen a vice commander directly move up into the wing commander position here at Mountain Home Air Force Base in about 40 years, making this a unique change of command. Lieutenant General Chris Nolan, the 12th Air Force and Air Force's Southern Commander, attended the historic ceremony. At the ceremony, Colonel Iverson gave thanks for a great team of gunfighters here at Mountain Home and is confident he is leaving the wing in good hands with Colonel O'Donnell. Jenny and I are so happy for a, a great family like you to follow us, uh, knowing the wing is in perfect hands and uh, th there's nobody better. Congratulations, my friend. Colonel O'Donnell rounded out his speech with this message to the wing. You have for Mountain Home Air Force Base, I'm Airman First Class, Chelsea Tedonio.